Imagine waking up every day to a putrid smell. Imagine having to go through floods frequently. Imagine having to take extra precautions from the animals we consume just for our well-being. Is this how we want to live? Well, I sure wouldn't. But this, ladies and gentlemen, may be our future if we don't control how we act. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Greetings, friends, teachers, and honorable judges. My name is Kinzi Rashani from SMP Islam Tugasku. Today, I will be talking about youth participation in waste management. I believe as children, we were taught by our elders to throw away rubbish in the bin and how littering is bad for the environment. But we also often see that their actions contradict their words, like how they would throw away bits of plastic on the side of the road and think it's nothing. Well, this small move may not leave an impact if it's just from a person. But imagine this, thousands or maybe even millions of people are partaking in this action. As a result, unwanted trash leads up in places like the sewer and the ocean. This can lead our ecosystem to be contaminated. And it doesn't just hurt the animals and plants around us, but it also hurts us too as humans. So you might be thinking, what are some things we can do to decrease the amount of garbage we make? Well, I have seen some people responding to this problem, like how there is a law. If you are caught littering in the premises of Dekai Jakarta, you will be fined for a total of 500,000 rupiah. Though it was quite an old law, by 2020, it was implemented more firmly. Moreover, Bali has been really active with cleaning up their beaches. People are willing to participate in this, in this action, and the, the amount of trash that they found is unmeasurable. According to research, about 625,000 tons of trash is found in the ocean itself. I, for one, as a student and teen, can't do much. But the least I can do is reduce buying items or goods that are packaged with plastic and reusing my own bags when shopping. Nowadays, with the help of advanced technology, we can spread awareness not to just our own country, but the whole world. We can spread them through different types of social media platforms like YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and many more. We could also join some activities like Jakarta Cleanup Day. I once participated in it and thought to myself, wow, we citizens, the ones living here, should really take better care of our home because no one else will do that. It's up to us. It can be hard to remind our elders since they will dismiss the idea and think that we are just too young to understand anything. Well, we Gen Zs are the next people to lead, and we have so much to live for. We only have one chance to live on this planet, so don't let that go to waste because of our irresponsibility and negligence. As one, if we cooperate, we can do so much. We don't have to take big steps, Little steps are enough. As Helen Keller said, alone we do so little, together we do so much. Thank you.